YouTube, this is Dolphin Dare to be Creative. How you guys doing today? Thank you for stopping by my channel and to see what I have to post. And thank you to um, welcome to my new people and uh, welcome to my old people. So either way, you're all welcomed here on my channel. So I am here um, to finish up a video that I did a tutorial on that was requested by Gloria. She had asked me to do the puzzle pieces, and I did the tutorial. I had to put some music on because I had so much stuff was going wrong in the background, but anyway, um, I just want to make sure I said a couple things, um, I'll point out a couple things before I show you the rest of what I did with the rest of them. This is the fast Fashionista Hot Buy paper pad that I got a couple of years ago, that's from Michael's that I use. Um, it says 2017, I guess it's uh, more than a couple, I don't think it was that long ago. Could have been. Oh, it time flies, but that was 2017. Anyway, I showed you just a couple. There is another one that you can use too, and I can't think of the other one on the top of my head because Susan and I was talking about it. Um, gosh, what's the name of it? But anyway, these are some of the common ones you can use. There, I can tell a little difference. Like, this one um, comes out much easier than your glossy accents, but it will spill over the sides if you pour too much too quick. Um, it did make my paper come up on the edges. So I had to back down, but I don't know if that was because... I don't know. Why? But it works, the top coat works exactly the same. So just make sure your ends are um, glued down really well. And um, I don't know if that was just a fluke or I've never had my ends ever come up. It curled up a little bit, but I fixed them. The other thing is make sure you have a, a pen to pop any air bubbles. Don't shake these. You, know, you just want to pour them out and squeeze them. Don't shake them up because you get air bubbles. And note that if you have dimension on it, it is going to have... Um, you might need more in that area. <coughs> you have to work towards your your your, t your taste as how you like it. Typically, whenever you're using these kind of um, gel mediums, there are going to be some divots and stuff in it, so you have to expect that. Particularly, if the shape is not rectangular, square, or circle. If it's not a uniform shape, and these are not, because when you get to the edges, only way to get all the way to the edge is if you pour it all the way to the edge, which is going to roll over, which is going to make the sides. Um, rough and I try to stay within my boundaries you have to be careful of that or you have to get a file to go back and file it which also you're on the risk of getting nuts in the edges up if you do that so you have to be careful with that so I go to the cl the edge ex as close as I can um, you know you just have to take your time make sure you lay, lay them flat to dry these are dry but they're not cured meaning that they probably need like you know a day or two to really just sit um, but they won't smear anything they're not going to stick to each other but I would say you want to still let your stuff cure. So I'm just going to show you what I did. They do have different dimension on them and um, you know you can see the difference um, in them like where the the raised at um, gemstones, not gemstones, rhinestones, whatever you want to call them. Blamed. But I like that because I like texture. So. <laughs> but anyway, but I do have um, glossy accents on it. You can feel the string and everything in there. So just depends on how many layers. I only did two, but you can always do additional layers on it as well. But these are the ones I just did. And again, you don't have to um, ink around the edges if you don't like to. It's totally up to you. You can use whatever pieces you want, whatever decorum, whatever uh, sentiments. It's totally your style. You're not limited. I've shown you like the clean and simple, and I've shown you the um, my grunge ones like I did for my, um, my Tim Holtz ones. I guess, can you believe I did this with pink in the background? Mm. I wasn't thinking when I grabbed a piece of paper, I just grabbed it. <laughs> I want to use a different color. But it still came like it. I still like them. Even though it had pink in the background, because I'm not a pink girl. <laughs> But anyway, so that's the end of it. Thanks, Glory, for reminding me to get those done. And so I just finished them off because I, I have to, I just need to finish them off. So that is the rest of those. And again, they are just so fun to make, easy to make, nice, quick project, make great gifts, stuck on um, little rack stockers, rack stocking, what, what's the word I'm trying to say? You know how like you say stocking stuffers? I'm going to say a rack stuffer. You know, like you're throwing this in my rack. You can always throw one of these in there. It's just a little gibby because these have the magnetic piece on the back, which is great. So that way they can stick it right up on their fridge. Or you can put your information on the back if um, you want to as well. So that's the rest of those little nice little morsels. So um, some people call them art towels as well. 
so anyway thanks for liking watching and subscribing i dare you to be creative take care god bless bye bye